Sony are the front runners coming into this year's E3. Of course they are. The PS4 is the best selling console of this generation so far. And there's a higher expectation for Sony, I think, along, among a lot of people. However, unlike a lot of other neutered, demented people on the internet, I'm not going to give Sony a free pass for things that I wouldn't allow other companies to get away with. Because, frankly, Sony get a lot more credit at their E3 conferences than they deserve. Last few haven't been that good. Even 2013 wasn't that good. And so for 2015, I'm still holding them to that standard for things that I would not allow a company like Microsoft to get away with because I'm not a hypocritical cunt. Now, obviously, when it comes to Sony's conference, we know that there's going to be at least a few exclusives there. We know that there'll be stuff like Uncharted, probably a single-player trailer and some multiplayer gameplay. They'll probably be showing a, uh, a little bit for that Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Of course, we got Gran Turismo 7 will probably be there, God of War 4, uh, Until Dawn, that new Guerrilla Games IP, that RPG, I think it's codenamed Horizon. They just recently made a Twitter account, so I think it's safe to conclude they'll be there. That new Media Molecule IP, the new Bend IP, maybe we'll hear something about that new uh, Insomniac, uh, not Insomniac, that new Sucker Punch IP that they're working on, and of course, Ratchet & Clank, which is the one that I'm personally looking forward to the most to see some more of, now that we finally got the trailer, as well as a release window and some gameplay. Hopefully, you'll show some more. That would be nice, because you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Ratchet & Clank. That's what I really want to see. But, and, and you know, when you look at that, you'll probably be thinking, oh, well, that sounds like a pretty good conference. But remember, I've been surprised before with how bad Sony's conferences can get. And this is the thing that I know will happen this year with Sony's conference, as it has for the past four years or so. They will spend about 30 to 40 minutes on absolute shit absolute boring crap that nobody in their right mind cares about we'll have that new head of sony america or whatever walking out on stage talking about the ps4 is selling so well it's doing so well it's selling and we've got this and and all this other crap that nobody wants to hear and we know that they're gonna do it and i'm telling you right now you better not you better not spend that much time talking about TV like you did last year. You better not be talking about stupid sales and statistics, things that nobody in their right mind cares about. You better not. I want you to focus on the games because the last two E3s, while Microsoft, yeah, they didn't do a good job at it, that's for sure, but at least they were focusing primarily on games for the past two E3s. Unlike Sony, who have dedicated like 20 to 30 minutes of their conferences, which are way too long at two hours, to TV stuff, which I don't care about and I don't think anybody should care about at a gaming convention. So here's what you got to do. Make sure that guy from last year who was talking for like 20 minutes, don't put him on the stage. Don't. And if he's on the stage, make sure he doesn't talk for that long. When you start your conference and when you end, cut that speech, which is generally 10 minutes long each. Cut that down. Cut that down. Big time. And for the, for the love of God, please do not show CGI trailers. Please. Just show gameplay, 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 gameplay. We know you got the games. We know you've got them. We know that you have all these IPs that you're sitting on. There are tons of games you have announced. There's ones that you haven't shown that we know are coming. Flaunt them. Show them off. Don't necessarily need to blow your whole load because you still got Gamescom later this year. But wow us. Give us some surprises because we know that you have more studios than Microsoft. So there's an expectation that you'll surprise us with something new. That's what I'm hoping for. I really hope you do it. Because, frankly, I didn't think E3 2014, their conference was particularly good. I thought Nintendo did a lot better. Even though their conference was too short, in you, if you ask me. And I swear, seriously, that's, that's basically all I can say for Sony. Unlike Microsoft, I have some level of expectation for this conference. Not bound out of some hatred or bias towards Xbox, but just based on previous experience. Sony have had some poor conferences recently, but they have the studios, they have the IPs, and now that the PS4 is selling, they have no fucking excuse. They need to show those games, 
and they need to impress us and they don't and they need to above all else not waste time we know that you're going to show third party games a lot of ubisoft games get shown at your conference we know that there probably might be assassin's creed at your conference again this year please don't waste time on things like those we understand that you have to show them to some extent but please don't waste time on those because your conferences can get boring your conferences can get really boring. And another thing too, we know that you'll talk about Project Morpheus, but again, just like, like, don't do what you did with PlayStation Move where you talked about it so much. Cut it down to a bare minimum. Focus on the games. Yeah, you're selling now and you're still going to win the console generation, but wouldn't it be at least nice to show those games that are basically null and void and non-existent on your platform for the rest of the year? Come on, I mean, Microsoft has you beat for exclusives at the end of this year. That's insane. That's essentially it for Sony's conference. Just show games, try and surprise us, and for the love of God, don't waste time talking about sales or what you pursue at Sony because, frankly, I don't think I speak only on behalf of myself when I say no one gives a shit.